What would our operating costs have been if we had a 10% reduction in electrical energy? What would that have driven to the bottom line? My name is Al Dewar. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of General Magnetic International, Inc. When you look at issues like um, electrical energy consumption, that's the biggest single operating cost uh, for these energy companies trying to get oil out of the ground. There's a need for a breakthrough. There is a need to uh, up the game. The energy industry has to up its game, and I, it understands that. My name is Aaron Broussard. I'm VP Engineering with General Magnetic. The reason I joined General Magnetic is uh, because they were interested in doing uh, product better. So there's conventional equipment and then there's our equipment. Um, it's more energy efficient. It's something that we can do as citizens of our society. Our uh, two main products are uh, both for the oil and gas industry. Uh, one is a, a large uh, 85 horsepower permanent magnet motor top drive for uh, producing oil wells that drive progressive cavity pumps. The speed and torque envelope is available throughout the entire speed range from 30 RPM to 450 RPM. The uh, second product is a, a also an energy efficient uh, permanent magnet motor that drives a small chemical pump and is powered by solar uh, panels. The reason we have significant interest with the operators and, uh, and the, um, the field engineers is that uh, our product, the permanent magnet motors, but also the, the variable frequency drives, uh, allow them manage complex wells in a way that they couldn't before. When we started, Getting into the applications in more detail, we realized that uh, it wasn't just the motor, but having an opportunity to have a superior drive system was uh, as important. The history of contacting ABB is, uh, and we were having some tuning issues. The field observations were uh, the, the system can't run very well between 70 and 100 RPM. It'd start to get some strange vibrations and wouldn't necessarily be stable and the VFD would lose control. Um, contacted ABB and uh, they sort of looked at our application and said, yeah, I think we can help you with that and we've got this new drive coming out. My name is Glenn Wilson. I'm, I work for ABB Western Canada. We got into the uh, partnership with um, General Magnetics through a uh, general inquiry that they had interest in our drives and what we had available in reference to PCP ESP performance. And then we sent it to our technical sales rep in Western Canada. So he went over and visited with the crew here and um, had a quick discussion on what we have available. So we started this uh, Avenue down this road um, and offered to put in a demo drive to go ahead and test the performance. And we had it running at all speeds and torques that afternoon. It required a very tiny little tweak. And in essence, it was basically perfect from day one. The uh, ABB VFD has been um, a great product for us. Uh, it is probably one of the easiest VFDs to use with our technology. Uh, we've tried many VFDs and, uh, and certainly it is, is clearly um, one of the best that we've tried. I think as importantly though is that we've had great support from ABB. They've been engaged and um, I, as a small manufacturer, I really appreciate their ability as a very large company to understand that um, there's the genesis here of something that's uh, really exciting and really good.